Classification techniques are an essential part of machine learning and determining applications. Approximately 70% of problems in data science are classification problems. There are a lot of classi classification problems that are available, but the logistic regression is common and is a useful regression method for solving the binary classification problem. Logistic regression can be used for various classification problems such as spam detection, diabetes prediction, if a customer will purchase a product or not, whether the user will click on a given ad link or not. Logistic regression is one of the most simple and commonly used machine learning algorithm for two class classification. It is a statistical method to predict binary classes. It, its basic fundamental concepts are also used in deep learning. It is a special case of linear regression where the target variable is categorical in nature. It uses a log of odds as a dependent variable. Logistic regression predicts the probability of a binary event utilizing a logic function. As we can see here, we need to categorize the data in two different categories and our job is to define the line which does that. Now, why is it called logistic regression if it's a classification mechanism? Contrary to popular belief, logistic regression is a regression model. The model builds a regression model to predict the probability that a given data entry belongs to the category numbered as one. Just like linear regression assumes that the data follows a linear function. Logistic regression models the data using the sigmoid function. Linear regression gives you a continuous output, but logistic regression provides a constant output. An example of continuous output would be house price prediction or stock price prediction. An example of discrete output is predicting whether a patient has cancer or not, or predicting whether a customer will click on an ad or not. Now, let's modify the linear regre regression equation we had seen in the previous video for logistic regression. We apply something called as a sigmoid function on the linear, linear regression equation. Let's see what the sigmoid function is. The sigmoid function, also called the logistic function, gives an S-shaped curve that can take any real valued number and map it into a value between 0 and 1. If the curve goes to positive infinity, y predicted will be 1 and if the curve goes to negative infinity, y predicted will become 0. If the output of the sigmoid function is more than 0 0.5, we can classify the outcome as yes or a 1. And if it is less than 0 0.5, we can classify it as 0 or a no. For example, if the output is 0 0.75, we can say in terms of probability as there is 75% chance that patient will suffer from cancer. Just like we have a cost function in linear regression, we need one for logistic regression as well, which has to be reduced to obtain the best fit line. But the cost function used in linear regression will not work here. If you try to use the linear regression cost function in a logistic regression problem, you would end up with a non-convex function, a weirdly shaped graph with no easy way to find minimum global point. Hence, we have a different cost function for linear regression. For logistic regression, the cost function is defined as minus log h of x if y equal to 1 and minus log 1 minus h of x if y equal to 0. This is the cost the algorithm pays if it predicts a value h theta of x while the actual cost label turns out to be y. By using this function, we will grant the convexity to the function the gradient descent algorithm has to process. There is also a mathematical proof of how we get this cost function which is outside the scope of this video. The final cost function can be seen at the bottom of the slide. Now we have the hypothesis function and the cost function and we are almost done. It is now time to find the best values for our parameters in the cost function or in other words to minimize the cost function by running the gradient descent algorithm. The procedure is identi identical to what we did for linear regression. To understand more about gradient descent, please find the link in the description which will explain linear regression and also gradient descent. To minimize the cost function, we have to run the gradient descent function on each parameter and that is how logistic regression works. At the end, we get the best parameters that can work with the hypothesis function to predict whether a data point belongs to one class or the other. Now, for the implementation, we can either use the scikit-learn library to import the logistic regression model and use it directly 
or we can also write our own model based on the equations above. Okay, we'll talk about implementing logistic regression. Logistic regression is amongst the most commonly known core machine learning algorithm out there with its cousin linear regression. It has many applications in businesses, one of which is the pricing optimization. In this video, we will learn how to code logistic regression in Python using the scikit-learn library to solve a bit pricing problem. Let's have some recap. Logistic regression is a predictive linear model that aims to explain the relationship between a dependent binary variable and one or more independent variables. The output of logistic regression is a number between 0 and 1, which you can think of as being the probability that a given class is true or not. The output is between 0 and 1 because the output is transformed by a function which is usually the sigmoid function. Let's start implementing logic regression in Python with a very simple example. Note that the intent of this video is only to implement a very basic logistic regression model using scikit-learn without using a trained test split on the dataset and with minimum data visualization. So let's start. First, we import all the dependencies that are required. We need matplotlib for visualization. So we need the pyplot as plt. Next is numpy to uh, store our data. And finally, we need the sklearn logistic regression model, which we can use to fit our data. Yeah. So the next is that we have to define a data set. Let's generate a data set that we'll be using to learn how to apply logistic regression to a pricing problem. The bid price is contained in our x variable while the result a binary lost or one category is encoded as one or zero in our y variable. Here I've defined my own data set but uh, for complicated or more advanced uh, examples you can also import a data set from Kaggle and use that. Let's go ahead and visualize this data using matplotlib to gain a better understanding of what we're dealing with. Let's have a scatter plot of x and y and let's actually give it a title of pricing bids and the x label is going to be price and the y label is the binary output one or loss so status. Uh, 1 is a 1 and 0 is a lost. So here each point above represents a bid that we participated in. On the x axis you can see the price that was offered and on the y axis you see the result if we won the bid or not. Our goal is to use logistic regression to come up with a model that generates the probability of winning or losing a bid at a particular price. In Python, logistic regression is made simple thanks to the scikit-learn module. For the task at hand, we'll be using the logistic regression class by the sklearn linear model. So log reg, let's start, let that be the name of the variable and logistic regression class where the regularization strength C is equal to 1.0 and the solver uh, let that be LBFGS which is an optimization just like it in descent and for multi-class we specify OVR because we're using a binary classification problem here so multi-class is equal to OVR for binary classification. The next step is to fit the logistic regression model by running the fit function of our class. And before we do that, we transform our X array into a 2D array as is required by the sklearn model. This is because we only have one feature which is the price. 
and if we had more than one feature our array would already be 2d so let's reshape our data as 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 and finally we can fit our model so log reg dot fit capital x and y now we have a model and now let's predict some data if we wanted to run the prediction on a specific price you can also do that as shown so let's print a prediction uh, let's say we need to find whether we have lost or won if the price is 110 so as you can see on the graph above if the price is 110 we should be winning so let's try that and as you can see when the price is around 110 which is between 100 to 200 we win the bid and if the price is around 275 we should lose the bet so let's try that again if it's 275 we should lose the bet and as you can see we have lost the bet this is a very basic implementation of logic regression using the scikit-learn library to understand how the algorithm works on a data set as we have a basic understanding now we can start working with the Kegel dataset and also study more about data analytics and data visualization. Thank you.